this is JD with a new edition of Tuesday's News Pills. At the onset, I have to say that human race is passing through tough times. But as always, we know that we shall overcome. In today's day and age, there are innumerable ways to check out what is happening around the world and that too by the minutes and seconds. I try to bring a speck of positive light to you with my weekly news pills. However, certain unfortunate incidents get too tough to ignore. Before I get on with today's news pills, I request you to like, share, subscribe to my channel and put in your valuable comments. Your comments will be a guiding light in my endeavor. News Pill 1. Amazon to buy MGM Studios for US dollar 8.45 billion. Amazon said Wednesday it will acquire MGM Studios for US dollar 8.45 billion, making its boldest move yet into the entertainment industry and turbocharging its streaming ambitions. The deal is the second largest acquisition in Amazon's history behind its US dollar 13.7 million purchase of Whole Foods in 2017. Amazon said it hopes to leverage MGM's storied filmmaking history and wide ranging catalog of 4000 films and 17000 TV shows to help bolster Amazon Studios. Its films and TV division. In a statement, MGM's chairman Kevin Alrich said, the opportunity to align MGM's storied history with Amazon is an inspiring combination. The deal emphasizes Amazon's willingness to spend deeply to remain competitive in the crowded streaming market. Amazon, Netflix, Disney, and other video streaming services have been looking to beef up their content libraries to win over subscribers committing billions towards licensing content and developing original programming. News Pill 2 These double-decker airplane cabin concepts could be the future of flying. Airplane seat designers have long been dreaming up innovative economic cabin concepts, looking forward the ideal balance between squeezing in as many passengers in as possible and keeping the experience relatively enjoyable for flyers. Always keeping an eye on the latest updates and innovation is the Crystal Cabin Awards known for spotlighting the newest trends in airplane interiors. After the pandemic delayed the announcement of the 2020 award winners, this year the Crystal Cabin Awards has shrunk down its usual eight categories to two key awards that recognize where aviation is right now. The judges choice category and Clean and Safe Air Travel Award. From stretching out your legs on the bottom section of a multi-level economy seat cabin to curling up in a compartment built into the overhead locker, the nominees offer a glimpse into the potential future of flying. New Spill 3 Rolls-Royce will now build you any car you want, but will cost millions. On Thursday, Rolls-Royce revealed a new program called Rolls-Royce Coach Build. This department will work with individual clients to help design and build cars specifically for them. While Rolls-Royce would not say how much the cars will cost, it seems clear they will cost many millions of dollars. Porsche calls its custom car department Sonderwisch or Special Wish in German. The program existed from Porsche's 
earliest days up until 1980s and has just recently been restarted. Last year, Bentley unveiled the Bacalar, an entirely roofless car of which 12 will be made at a cost of US dollars 2 million each. In revealing that car, Bentley also announced its own return to coach building. Rolls-Royce has unveiled a new car called the Boat Tail, of which only three are being made. These cars were commissioned by three different buyers, all of whom were interested in boating and yachts and who wanted something with a nautical feeling to it. The estimated price is about US dollar 25 million apiece. In the early days of automobiles, buyers would often choose an automaker like Rolls-Royce, Hispano Suiza or Dusenberg to build the mechanical parts of a car. The body of the car though would be designed and built by a specialized coach building firm like Le Baron in United States, Touring in Italy, Figoni A. Falaschi and Sauchik in France and many others. That is all for today. Thank you and goodbye for now. Stay blessed. See you in my next Tuesday's episode.